Finding games that deliver non-stop action on a mobile platform can be tough. Not anymore. Enter Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors, developed by Luca Gallant, originally released for Mac OS and Windows on October 20th, 2022, then ported to Xbox One and Series X and S on November 10th, and finally released for Android and iOS devices on December 8th of the same year, announced at the Video Game Award Show. I'm reviewing this game on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and no issues can be found. It runs buttery smooth with no slowdown. Vampire Survivor's free-to-play gameplay is a breath of fresh air in a world that can be easily turned into in-app purchases. Unlocks and characters happen naturally with currency earned while simply playing the game. You, the player, controls an auto-attacking mythological character who gains power-ups and stat boosts with each level up or mini-boss killed. Although it does have ads, it's non-obtrusive. The ads are only used at the end of your lives as a revive to continue playing. Vampire Survivor's gameplay is simplistic enough. Pick your champion, select a level, and survive to the level's overall time limit. Typically, each level's time limit is 30 minutes. Then death is unleashed, and he wants his soul as a payment. Game sessions can be as brief or as long as you want, but be warned that your first goal will be brutally short, but you will improve the more you play, giving an overall sense of addictive gameplay. Levels get intense quickly. They start off slow, few enemies on screen at a time, but as you gain levels, enemies start filling the screen. It's rather impressive how many enemies and powers can fill the screen at one time with no slowdown. I've put in countless hours and have unlocked just about everything in the game. There are so many unlocks that from characters, weapon types and power-ups, there's so much gameplay left to be had. With countless ways to play, albeit at home or on the go, Vampire Survivor's gameplay delivers nonetheless. With its original releases on PC and home consoles, I feel that on the mobile devices, it feels more at home. The app is currently free on iOS, and the thoughts in this video are totally my own. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.